right, today is November. Today is May the 18th, 2018. And I am on my way for my first consultation to see if LASIK surgery is good for me. As you can tell, I am near blind. Um, I'm a negative 11.5 in both eyes, if you really wanna know what it is. And also, I wear Coke bottle glasses. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get PRK surgery to correct my vision. And I'm gonna try and update you with the whole process through this video. So today, like I said, is my first consultation and uh, we'll go from there once we find out something more. I just left the first consultation for PRK. Actually, I am a better candidate for PRK surgery. I'll let you look up the difference on that on your own. I am super happy. That means here in a couple of weeks, I can put my glasses and my contacts away. My surgery is scheduled for about two weeks from now, so we'll see you in about two weeks. All right, folks, we are almost two days away from my PRK surgery. Super excited. I've been wearing these freaking glasses for almost a solid week now in preparation for the surgery. Can't tell you how much I dislike it. And if you have glasses, if you have very terrible vision like I do, then you know the impact that it has on your life, uh, even with contacts. Woo! Okay, I'm on my way to my surgery and I was just gonna tell you the list of things that they say uh, you do not do. First off is do not consume any alcohol or sedatives that can make you drowsy prior to your surgery. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm not drinking. Do not wear any clothing that is fuzzy or restrictive. Kinda upset about that one. Do not wear any makeup. I'm not even filming myself, I'm just not even paying attention. Hairsprays, gels, perfumes, aftershave, cologne, scented bath gels, or scented soaps. Please plan to be at the center for approximately two to four hours. That's no good. I'm going to have PRK surgery. First update, post-op was a little rough immediately after the procedure. I did have to get home and take a good, probably two and a half hour, shut my eyes, lay down, couldn't really nap. Since then, I've started using my eye drop regimen. Things are looking up right now. Immediately I can see, uh, not perfect, but uh, immediately I can see five to 10 times better than when I had no glasses or no contacts in. So far, day one, post-op, I am giving it a thumbs up. Look, 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 look. Okay, so I will tell you about the eye drop situation because it is a continuing thing when you have PRK surgery. So to start off, you're going to have prednisolone, which is a steroid, which is the little small bottle here, if you can see that. And then you're gonna have ofloxin. I don't know if that's the correct way to say it, but that is an antibiotic that you also drop in your eye. You start off doing those every hour to two hours, then a few days later you will move to four times a day and wean yourself down that way as well. There's another drop that you use pretty more frequently and that is preservative free tears. These are tears that I bought at Walgreens. Walgreens has a brand. They're individual use, uh, a little bit easier I guess, but that way they don't have preservatives in the tears. Don't use the preservative tears. I don't know what happens if you do, but it's all over the paperwork. They told us about 16 times, do not use preservative tears or tears that have preservative in them. So that's the eye drop situation. Okay everyone, today is Sunday. It's the day after my PRK surgery. I am still super sensitive to any kind of light. I am just watering to no end out of both eyes. Little discomfort. One thing that I didn't realize is that with my eyes watering and when something's going on with your eyes, it also messes with your sinuses. So I'm a little stopped up right now. Second day after the surgery, the only big improvement I can tell you is that my sinuses have kind of started to clear up a little bit. My eyes are still watering. They do still itch. I wouldn't call it a pain, 
they are still very sensitive to light. I'm also still not able to drive. That will be a few days. I find it incredibly easy to fall asleep. So yesterday I probably slept for a good 12 hours out of the day. Today I'm gonna try and stay up a little bit longer. We'll see how that goes so I don't just sleep the day away. Tuesday and Wednesday update together in one, uh, not a lot changed. My vision, however, did start to clear up a lot on Tuesday. Uh, I was able to kind of take the sunglasses off. Other than being outside, I was able to do a lot around the house. Uh, no watching TV, no driving still on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, today, went to the doctor and they took out the temporary contacts that were covering my cornea and said they would like for me to wait just one more day before I did a lot of driving. Still on my drops today, still kind of re-wetting, still a little hazy, but not too bad today. Hopefully tomorrow we're gonna be going back to work, so I'll give you shorter updates then. Today is exactly one week from when I had the surgery. I pretty much am restriction free, other than certain things like getting water directly sprayed into your eyes. Um, I'm still using the prednisolone drops. I'll be using those for about a month. Let, 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 let. Uh, uh.